puppies have so much energy that it can be difficult to get them to slow down long enough for a sit. Understanding the mechanics of how we perform a sit or down will help you to teach us at any stage of our life. For a sit, all you need to know is that if the head goes up, then the bum must come down. Here is Ea showing you how it's done. Looks easy, doesn't it? Well, that's only one part of the process to get us to sit. Remember how I told you about basic body language in the first episode? Well, humans need to communicate with dogs through their body language too. In order to ask for a sit, you need to stand tall with your chest out, which pushes us backward through air pressure. Bring your hand up toward the sky, which will automatically bring our head up and step into your dog. Some dogs, like my brother Aes, who are young, might not automatically sit when asked. Here mom asks and he resists by jumping. Mom stands her ground and pushes him back with her body without touching him. She uses a wall in back so that he can't dance backward, avoiding the cue. When he hits the wall, he must sit. Physically forcing a dog to sit is never a good idea. Like people, we do not naturally yield to pressure. Here mom demonstrates by pushing on Aos' bum to try to get him to sit. Notice how he resists to the pressure and pushes back. Notice how he doesn't sit. There are many factors to consider when asking us to sit. A small dog can sit faster than a big dog, as a young dog can sit faster than an old dog. Some dogs may have pain which prevents them from sitting. My much older brother, Granite, can't sit anymore. He either stands or lies down, and mom knows he hurts too much to ask him to sit. Some dogs sit faster than others, so give us a few seconds before correcting us. Different surfaces will either promote the completion of a cue or discourage us. Asking us to sit on asphalt or concrete instead of sitting on the grass or on a mat will mean that we may not want to sit at all or it might take us longer to complete your request. Think about it. Wouldn't you prefer to sit on the grass instead of sitting on concrete? If you do yoga, aren't you on a mat? Now, let's talk about the down cue. Your body posture should be forward, but low and relaxed. The mechanics of the down makes like an L, so you should not be standing too close when you ask the down. First, we bring our body toward the ground, and then we need to slide our feet out in front of us. Demonstrating with Aes, who is always so excited because he's so young, mom asks for the down, but his bum comes up as his front end goes down. Such an amateur. Mom patiently keeps her hand down and waits for him to bring his bum down before giving him his treat. If he didn't complete the cue in a few seconds, then mom would have started the process all over again of asking him to sit and then asking him to lie down again until he got it. Mom says that training should not last longer than 15 minutes for most dogs. If you find that your dog can't focus on you, then mom says you should make sure he's had some exercise before your training session. If we have too much energy, then we can't learn effectively. Mom always says, a good dog is a tired dog.